Well, the Supreme Court has issued a decision today, but it will not end the conversation about what marriage is and why it matters for America. In the places where marriage, where, where the American people had the opportunity to vote on this, they strongly voted to retain the understanding of marriage that has been that. <laughs> I speak unto thee this day, and I say, do not forget that it is me, the living God, who will deliver you. That is, it is me, the living God, who is the way of deliverance to those who will trust in me, yield themselves over, and be delivered by my hand. For I say, when any man or woman will look to me and know the power of who I am, then I say, they can be set free of any demonic harassment, bondage, oppression, and darkness that the enemy would put upon them. For I say it is me, the living God, who is well able, therefore I say, trust and believe in me. Now I say you are living in a time when those who claim that they are my people do not want to be subject to deliverance, for I say they love the activity of demons in their lives. But I say when men will literally hate the activity of demons, desire to be set free of the same, it is me, the living God, who is well able to deliver them. For I say it is me, the living God, who is the greatest power in heaven and earth, and I say that demon powers are subject to me. And I say it is me, the living God, who can easily deliver any man, woman, or child when their need is found in me. That is, when they will know, understand, and recognize that they are being harassed, oppressed, tormented, and put in anguish by demons. Then I say, if they cry to me, it is me, the living God, who delivers. But I say, so many have put, as put aside the ministry of my delivering power. I say they are literally ashamed of the same. And I say they would rather live under the control of demons than live under me. Now I say this day that I, the living God, do not call you to be subject to demons, not in any of the ways that they will bring you down. But I say that I call you to be subject to me, the author and the finisher, the beginning and the end. For I say it is me, the living God, who will ever uplift, direct, correct, and guide forth the people who are looking unto me, believing in me, and trusting, for I am well able. And it is me, the living God, who will cause the ones who trust me to be brought forth rejoicing in me. Now I say this day that I, the living God, have intended that my own people would know what it is to walk in the freedom that I provide. That is, freedom from the continual harassment, oppression, depression, and vexation that is found in demons. For I say that I, the living God, do not call you to be subject to any other God, any other source, any other power. But I say that I call you to be subject to me, for I am the maker, the keeper of your souls. I say this day that I, the living God, do intend that the ones who serve me would do so with gladness, rejoicing, and the giving of praise day by day. And I say that I do intend that my people would be brought forth, made glad with the privilege to walk uprightly in me. For I say it is me, the living God, who is the way of truth and light, the way of mercy and hope, and the way that is peace provided. And I say, if you walk in repentance, revolution each day, then I say you are given the way of clarity, and I say the way of life. And I say, when I, a living God, do reveal unto you the working of demons in your life, I say, do not seek to cover the same. And I say, do not hold the demons rather than me, for I say, those demons will cause you sore dismay. Now I say, this day when a man will be subject to demons, he is subject to lies, he is subject to hatred, he is subject to bitterness, he is subject to accusation, he is subject to murder and jealousy, envy, division and strife. Oh, what ugly masters they are. But I say, when a man will be set free by the power that is found in me, then I say that he's able to be subject to me. And I say that he's able to be subject to the truth and the life, the mercy, the love, the peace and the hope that I provide. For I say it is me, the living God, who offers unto any man, woman, or child who is subject to me the way of my life. But I say when men and women are choosing the way of subjectivity to demons rather than subjectivity to me, I say they are choosing the darkness of the same. Now I say this day, why not walk uprightly in me day by day? Why not be thankful to be guided by me? 
that is to be brought forth in the blessedness, the truth, and the light that I give each and every day. For I say, when you will continue to trust, to believe, to hope in me, then you are brought forth in my way. And yes, you are given the strength and the truth, the mercy, the hope that I provide. Now I say, in an adulterous, a wayward, a perverse, a vile generation, consider how many are ruled by demons. That is, they are ruled by vileness, abomination, filthiness, uncleanness, perversion, and darkness on every hand. Then I say they are trying to get, convince multitudes to come under the umbrella of the same corruption that they are in. I say that all of it is nothing but the work of demons. Now I say this day that I have been God and calling for men and women to rise up in the delivering authority and power that is found in my name. That is to walk in the freedom, the truth, and the light that I give day by day. For I say you are not meant to be crushed by demons, you are not meant to be overwhelmed by demon powers, but I say you are meant to walk forward in the light, the truth, the strength that I provide. And I say you are meant to be thankful each day that you can indeed be set free, remain free in me. That is, ever walking in the truth, the light, the blessedness of who I am. Now I say this day when I the living God do identify the working of demons, I say you are meant to reject the same. That is, not my identity of the demons, but rather the activity of demons in your lives. You are not meant to welcome the work of demons, but I say you are meant to realize that it is nothing but a plot and a ploy to destroy your soul. And I say you are meant to reject that working and to walk uprightly in me. Now I say this day when I the living God do give unto you the truth and the light, the strength and the hope and the mercy day by day, I say be thankful unto me. That is, be thankful that you are uplifted, directed, and ever guided in the blessedness, the truth, and the light that I give to my own. And I say, be thankful that you do not need to be found in a way that is far from me, a way that will only take you to the grave. But I say, be thankful that you can be guided each day and delivered by me, the one true God who is caring for thee. Now I say this day when I deliver and God to give to any man or woman my deliverance and they know the freedom that is found in me, I say they are not meant to succumb to the demons once again, but I say they are meant to mark their enemies and not fall into the same trap, the snare, the entanglement that took them into the demon oppression. But I say that my people are men to learn their warfare and apply the same and stay diligently practicing their belief in me. That is, knowing that it is me, the living God, who is the Almighty, the power that remains. Now I say this day when you have lived under the oppression of demons, there will be a part of you that literally welcomes those demons as an old friend. But I say when you come to the knowledge, the understanding, the revelation, that those demons are sent to kill you, destroy your soul, and see you end in hell, I say, why would you call that your friend? For I say, if you are a friend of the world, if you are a friend of demons, then I say, you are not my friend. For I say, it is me, the living God, who has come as the divine liberator to those who are captive, to those who are in oppression and harassment and darkness, and I say that I've come to set them free. But I say, when those who have been set free return again to the darkness, the evil, the iniquity, the harassment, the oppression, and even the possession, I say they are utter fools. I say this day that I the living God am returning the call to deliverance, that men can be set free from the horrid powers that are rail railing upon them. For I say it is me, the living God, who does desire to see my own walking in the truth, the light, the purity that I provide. And it is me, the living God, who will give forth that deliverance call, and any and all who are humble enough to accept the same can be set free. For I say that deliverance is a part of the repentance revolution that is underway. That is, that men and women are set free and not under the bondage, the oppression, the harassment, the darkness, and even the possession that has taken place. I say this day, be thankful that it is me, the living God, who is the Almighty. It is me, the living God, who is able to deliver. It is me, the living God, you can look unto. For I say, if you are ever looking unto me, believing and trusting in me, then I say you are guided in my way. And yes, you are given the light and the truth, the hope and the strength and the peace that I provide. For I say it is me, the living God, who is the way of all righteousness, the way of all mercy, the way of all hope. And it is me, the living God, who will ever uplift, guide forth, and direct the people who believe upon me. 
Therefore I say continue, 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 ever trusting, believing, and looking to me, for I am the I am. That is, it is me, the living God, who is the way of all righteousness, mercy, truth, and hope, and peace provided. And it is me, the living God, who will bring forth the people who believe upon me, cleave unto me, and walk in my way. Now I say this day when I, the living God, do give you the way to walk, and you will walk uprightly in me, then I say you are kept in me. Let us say if you choose the way of perversity, the way of darkness, the way of hatred, I say you are choosing the way of death. I say that I, the living God, do not call you to take the enemy's cup and drink of the same, but I say that I call you to cast the works of darkness far from you, that is, to be set free of the oppressors and to walk uprightly in me. Now I say this day you are not meant to live in the fear of demons, you are not meant to live in the fear of men, nor the governments of men. For I say that all of those things are controlled by evil powers of darkness that seek to take you as a victim of the same. But I say, if you live only in the fear of me, then I say you will have much courage in these times of darkness, evil, and iniquity abounding on every hand. And I say that you will know what it is to walk in the freedom delivering power that I provide. For I say that a man can only be freed from the oppression of demons by the power that is found in me. For I say it is me, the living God, who is all righteousness and truth. It is me, the living God, who is all mercy and hope. And it is me, the living God, who is the way of life intended. Therefore I say, continue as a steadfast people who are ever hoping, believing, and looking unto me, for I am well able. And I say it is me, the living God, who is the way of all righteousness and truth, the way of all strength and glory, and the way of mercy provided unto my own. And it is me, the living God, who will ever direct, correct, and guide forth the people who will believe and cleave to me. Now I say this day, why not walk circumspectly in that which I give you, that which I provide, which is my truth, my light, my strength, and my hope day by day. And I say, why not be thankful that you can continue to be uplifted and directed, guided, and put forth by me. That is, put in the way of righteousness, put in the way of truth and mercy provided, and brought forth ever thankful, because it is me that you look to and believe. Now I say this day that I, the living God, do call my people to walk honestly before me each and every day, because they are desirous of pleasing me. That is, do not hold to a proud image of who and what you think you are, but I say be ever subject to the scrutiny of the mind of my spirit, that you can indeed be made right with me. For I say it is me, the living God, who uplifts, directs, and guides forth the ones who cleave to me, believe upon me, and trust in me. And it is me, the living God, who will show unto you the way of my righteousness revealed. Now I say this day that I, the living God, do not call you to be stuck in a rut. I do not call you to be a slave to demons oppressing you day after day. But I say that I call you to be uplifted, brought forth, and guided in the strength, the dominion power that I provide. And I say that I call you to be made glad, ever thankful that it is me you can continue to look to and believe. For I say it is me, the living God, who is the way of all truth and light, the way of all mercy, hope, and righteousness revealed. Therefore I say in the wicked, a perverse, a vile, and evil generation, be thankful that it is me, the living God, who is able to deliver, that it is me, the living God, who is able to keep, that it is me, the living God, who desires a repentant people who will walk humbly before me. And I say, continue in repentance, revolution, realizing that indeed men are needy of deliverance in these times. That is, there are untold multitudes of them who are literally on the verge of being possessed of demons. There are others who have gone over the edge. There are those who are simply harassed day after day. But I say, it is me, the living God, who can set free the captives that cry out unto me, believe in me, and are repentant unto me. Lip service is not heart service, and that's why more destruction is coming. Would you notice? Or for that matter, would you care? You're too busy listening to some guy in a top and sleep. You are the salt of the earth, but if salt has lost its taste, I shall its saltiness be restored. It is no longer good for anything except to be thrown out and trampled at the people's feet. You are the light of the city. God is relentlessly putting forth the call to repentance, revolution, and ecclesia in Gavin. Are you willing to answer the call, or do you just want to play church?
Now's the time to take action and get active in the war to rescue souls. Anyone who is a sodomite is so because you are possessed with the demon. You were made a male or... Don't pick it, scabs. You'll leave a scar.